Hello there, welcome back to my channel to part two of this beginner basics series for dip powder. love using dip powder and I've been doing it for almost four years now probably 2017 yep four years now anyways so I decided to do a beginner basic series to teach you guys from like start to finish all the things you need to know so I feel like I kind of have to say this because I'm not a trained professional, I'm not a nail tech, I'm not a nail anything, I'm just a girl at home who likes to do her nails DIY so yeah, <laughs> that's it. I'm not here to tell you you have to do it this way. This is the right way, the only way. I'm just showing you guys my way because I get a lot of like requests on all my videos on how to do XYZ. So I'm putting them all into videos. All right, thank you. So I'm going to show you guys the current status of my nails right now. While they do have builder gel on, I do prep my nails with my builder gel on. The only thing is, since I've been prepping my nails for so long now, I don't really have any invisible cuticle on my nails like it shows here. So the invisible cuticle, what I mean is it's hard to see, but it lays on your nail bed. The proximal nail fold is what people commonly mistake for cuticle, and it is not the same thing. As you can see here, my proximal nail fold is practically invisible that's because i take very good care of my skin and my cuticles and i just use cuticle oil and moisturizing cream daily so if you're looking for cuticle and skin care that's a completely separate different video but today i'm going to show you guys how i pre prep my nail bed so that whenever i put dip powder or builder gel on it it won't cause any lifting so I have this cuticle pusher tool from Kimber's Creations. So this is a scraper. This is the cuticle pusher tool. And it has like a little spatula on the other side that I use to scrape out any of the invisible cuticle that I do get off of my nail beds. This is a pumice stone cuticle pusher. It is a great tool to use on your natural nails when you're pushing back and trying to get rid of that invisible cuticle. I will also be using this buffing block, but I won't really be using the hand file. So to start, I'm going to use cuticle remover on my nails. So I have this dropper bottle full of Blue Cross cuticle remover. I linked all this stuff in my Amazon haul um, stuff that I think every beginner needs to have. What this liquid is going to do is it's going to soften up my nail beds and my cuticles. So you wanna be very careful when you're using these tools. But I'm gonna let it sit on my nails for about 60 seconds. And then I'm going to use this cuticle pusher to push back any invisible cuticle that might still be on my nail beds. So when I do a fill on my builder gel, I won't have any lifting. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure your cuticle pusher is flat up against your nail bed. You do not want it angled because when you have it angled, it is very, very possible that you can be pushing into your nail bed and you don't want to do that. You just want to scrape the surface of it, not push into it. Now that I've scraped the surface of my nail bed long enough, I'm flipping over my cuticle pusher and I'm just scraping up any of that leftover cuticle remover and whatever dead skin was scraped up off of my nail bed. Remember, you don't want to scrape too much because if you dig too much into your nail bed, it is very possible you can harm yourself if you're being too aggressive with these tools. So it might look like I'm being aggressive, but I am actually being very gentle on my skin because I don't want to harm myself. So I'm going to repeat everything I just did on my thumb as well. So I'm gently pushing back 
the area where my proximal fold is and scraping back any invisible cuticle that might be on my nail bed and then using the other end of the tool to pick any of that up. You can see it right there on the tool. It looks kind of gross. Um, but because I prep my nails so often, because I do my nails so often, um, I don't do full preps anymore, just kind of like partial preps. Anyways, so now I want to sanitize my nails so then I can like inspect my fingers and see really what it's looking like, if any additional prep needs to be done or not. But I absolutely recommend that you prep with rubbing alcohol or soap and water so you can get all of that residue from the cuticle remover off of your nails. So this was the pumice stone cuticle pusher I was talking about earlier. If you have some harder to get off um, invisible cuticle or it's just like really stubborn, this tool is really great and really gentle for getting all of that off of your nail bed. It's really awesome for people who don't prep often and they go three to four weeks between manicures and between prep, using this is great. And these are just cuticle nippers. They're often known for removing the proximal fold. Like I said, I really don't have any of that, but if I had any dead overhang, I would have clipped it off with those cuticle nippers. But I do not recommend clipping off any live skin with your cuticle nippers. So now I wanna talk about filing and buffing because it is very, very possible to over file your natural nail and cause damage. What I like to do is take a buffing block or a finer grit file. So this one is a 180 grit. It's a much finer grit than most. And I like to buff up the surface of my nail bed. Since I have builder gel on my nails, I'm not doing any damage to my natural nail. But when I'm doing prep and I want to prep the new growth, I only focus my buffer and my file around the new growth. It is very important that as the weeks go on and you continue to prep your nails, that you don't prep your entire nail bed by filing and buffing. You only file and buff the new growth only. As time goes on, if you continue to buff and file the entire nail bed, the stuff that has been on your nails longer, that can get thinner and weaker and thinner and weaker and can cause thin nails. And we think that it's the removal or the product that's causing damage, but it's truly because we're over filing or over buffing our natural nails. So just like I said, only file or buff the new growth every time you do your prep. So just like before, after you're done filing, buffing, prepping, you want to sanitize your nails. If you want to, you can wash them with hot water and soap, but I choose rubbing alcohol. And when I'm completely done, I like to nourish my skin. So I just use Candy Skin Care Cuticle Oil and I apply it over and under my skin. Um, some people don't realize that the underside of our fingernails can get really, really dry. It really depends on your skin, how it naturally is. If it's oily or dry, mine is dry. And I just rub it all in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for next week's video because this series is really I got a lot of good stuff to talk about and show you guys. So hopefully all the content that I'm recording is helpful and you guys like it. And I'll see you next week. Bye.